My father is a physician, so I've always had it in the back of my mind about becoming a doctor. He himself is not an oncologist. I find it very rewarding to help people, to help them feel better, help them get better, cure their disease. The reason why I chose oncology is um, the biology of cancer is very interesting. The uh, way the malignant process, the pathogenesis of cancer is very interesting. A lot of that is being unraveled in the last 15, 20 years. And it's led to a significant improvement in many treatments uh, that are available now. So we're helping many uh, diseases become, uh, sorry, many cancers become chronic diseases. And we're curing more and more cancers as well. So I find all that uh, very rewarding. The immune system is supposed to recognize anything that is foreign in our body. The immune system fights many infections and many bugs. Now, a malignancy is an, you know, something that is aberrant in our body, but it's not truly foreign. It is part of us. It is part of us that has become mutated and abnormal. Cancers evade the immune system. A lot of the research that has been done in the last few decades is trying to get an understanding of how cancers evade the immune system. Cancer cells are unfortunately smart. They can produce proteins on their surface that uh, can bind to proteins on the surface of a normal immune cell that is supposed to attack the cancer cell. So that way, a, the proteins on a cancer cell neutralize the normal immune cell that's supposed to attack the cancer cell. So the immune checkpoint inhibitors are uh, drugs that have been developed that interfere with the interaction between the protein on a cancer cell and the protein on a normal immune cell. And that way, uh, they prevent that binding, and so the normal immune cell becomes free to attack the cancer cell. So that is uh, one way how the immune system is being used to fight cancer. Using the immune system to fight cancer is one of the ways that we will be fighting cancer. It's not the only way. Understanding how certain pathways in a malignant cell drive that cancer is another area of uh, developing targeted treatments. Now, uh, we're developing more targeted therapies towards certain molecules that may be driving a cancer. Historically, we did not have very effective treatments for cancers. And thankfully, you know, that has changed with all the treatments that we've been talking about that we've developed in the last uh, five to 10 years. And uh, so that's why it's uh, become more rewarding to help people and reassure them that, uh, you know, they don't need to worry so much. Their self-image does not need to change so much. We will give them the treatments to hopefully cure them or help them live much longer. And, uh, you know, they can get back to their normal lives.